People don't understand that the water they drink, the food they eat, the air they breathe is what's causing them later in life to develop disease. I'm Michael Skinner, professor in biological sciences at Washington State University. Any apparent disease? Not in this one. We are challenging the chief main paradigm in biology. Genetic determinism suggests that your DNA determines your destiny. Well, it turns out it's only a part of a much bigger story. What I study is epigenetics. It's things around the DNA that actually control how the DNA works. If there's abnormalities in that epigenetics, then you can have things like disease development. We expose a rat model to different environmental contaminants. What we found was not only is disease frequency very high, but these environmental factors promoted transgenerational disease in their great-grandchildren. Therefore, what your great-grandmother was exposed to might actually influence the disease you're going to get and actually what you're going to pass on to potentially your grandchildren. I piss everybody off. <laughs> because these are things that don't fit a genetic paradigm. The fact that there's controversy doesn't really bother me because one of the mottos that I have is if you're not doing something controversial, you're not doing something important.